Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm playing some Universe Sandbox 2, so let's go ahead and get started. The suggestion I have today is actually continuing off my uh, suggestion yesterday. Um, basically, I collided, I think, what was it? Saturn at the speed of light into Jupiter, but this is more to do with the intro that I kind of recorded, because I was actually working on the thumbnail for the video, and I ended up... Uh, and just hitting play and just seeing what happened, and the rings collided into there. Well, that was pretty cool. But in today's episode, I kind of want to collide the gigantic rings of J1407b with Saturn. So, let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm going to change the lighting, that way the rings are a little bit more visible and easier to film. Here is 1S Wasp. And over here is J1407b. So the star J1407 and the planet J1407, they orbit pretty close to each other actually. Uh, I believe this is just a red dwarf. The planet itself is a gas giant the mass of 20 Jupiters and it orbits at a semi-major axis of 1.32 astronomical units and I'm not sure if the game simulates it correctly but its ring should be about I think 90 million kilometers if I'm correct in radius. So let's go ahead and change the lighting to studio, and now we can actually see these rings much better. So they are just huge. It's basically like its own protoplanetary disk. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and throw Saturn straight through its rings at the planet. So, as you may have seen, there was a little bit of a gravitational effect, but the orbital velocity of J1407 actually misaligns Saturn, so it's no longer actually passing through in the rings. But as you can see, it did make actually quite a big dent in the rings, they are no longer properly even. Of course, that could just be the unstable nature of it orbiting around the star in this game. As you guys may have seen in my previous J1407B video, the rings are not really the most stable, so they tend to fold over on that side. So I don't know if that was an effect of Saturn or the rings itself. But what we'll do is we will go ahead and throw Jupiter through J1407B's rings. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's try to get a little bit more of an angle on it. So, here we go.
Okay, so I'm not too sure if Jupiter is actually having a very big effect either. I think it did essentially the same thing as Saturn, and it is actually pulling its rings a little bit toward it. But J1407b does not appear to be drastically affected. So I have one more idea. Okay, so here's the plan. I have two Jupiters, one right here and the other one I can't really see yet. Yeah, I don't know where the other Jupiter went, but it's there. And I'm going to make it actually have kind of some crazy polar orbits. So let's go ahead and turn on the orbital map and hit play. And let's go ahead and slow down time since this is going to lag up. And we'll just see what this does over a time lapse. There's the other Jupiter. Okay, so I am back, and it looks like Jupiter might have broken orbits with J1407b and started actually orbiting around the actual star. And as you can see, it has scattered the rings everywhere in a very beautiful way. <laughs> that is really cool. As you can see, one of them, the one that's orbiting in this very inclined orbit, just kind of kept pulling on the rings itself and spread them all the way out here. I really wish I could speed up the simulation a bit more, but 
because there is so many rocks and so many particles here, I can't really speed it up faster than 18 hours per second. Because it'd really be cool to see the long-lasting effects of this system. For example, like if all these particles would eventually start orbiting the star and become some sort of asteroid belt, but currently they're just scattered across the system, like in a very beautiful and sporadic way. But that's all the time I really have to actually time lapse this video. If you guys like the video, please leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe, it really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.